So I was actually scrolling through my feed last night and I saw all these videos going viral about this massive drone mothership China is about to test. And I actually dug deeper because I wanted to know more about this for myself. And what I discovered was pretty mind blowing. So I think we should talk about it. So this isn't just another military drone. We're actually talking about what might be the world's first aerial aircraft carrier capable of launching swarms of smaller AI powered drones mid flight. And I was also surprised to figure out that this giant UAV is scheduled for its first test flight any day now after being unveiled at China's Zhuhai air show back in November. So let's break down what this thing actually is, why it matters and what it means for the future of warfare. So what exactly is the Zhishuan SS UAV? The name Zhishuan translates to nine heavens or high sky in Chinese, which honestly sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but this is very real technology. The Zhishuan is a massive unmanned aerial vehicle developed by China's state-owned aviation industry corporation of China, which is, you know, AVIC. Now, I came across some pretty impressive specs in my research. This beast has a wingspan of about 25 meters. That's around 82 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of around 16 tons and can carry a payload of up to six tons. Just for comparison, that's about the same payload capacity as a light fighter jet, but without any of the limitations that come with having a human pilot on board. Now, what makes this drone really special is its operational capabilities. It can fly at super high altitudes. We're talking about at 15,000 meters or 50,000 feet, which is actually above the range of many medium air range defense systems. Plus, it has an incredible range of 7,000 kilometers, which is around 4,350 miles meaning it can travel the distance from Beijing to Hawaii without refueling. Now, don't worry, I'm not just talking about some military stuff. There's actually some crazy AI tech in this, which is why I've included it on my channel. But here's the kicker, okay? The Zhishuan isn't just designed to fly far and high. Its main purpose is to act as a mothership for smaller AI drones. It features what's called an isomerism hive module in its central payload section, which is basically a fancy way of saying it has internal bays that can release up to 100 smaller drones or loitering munitions from both sides of its fuselage. Think of it like those motherships in alien invasion movies that open up and release hundreds of smaller ships, except this one is real. Now, the drone is equipped with eight hard points for external payloads, including six for heavy weapons and two for air to air missiles. So, not only can it launch swarms of AI drones, but it can also carry conventional weapons like cruise missiles and the glide bombs. And I was also reading that the Zhishuan uses a jet engine mounted on top of its central fuselage, which gives it better thrust compared to the propeller driven systems typically found on other military drones. This helps with its range and mission flexibility. And with its tricycle landing gear arrangement, it can take off and land and on conventional runways. You might be wondering why this matters so much. Well, the Zhishuan represents a major shift in how drone warfare could be conducted. Traditional military drones like the American Predator or Reaper are basically just remote controlled aircraft that can carry out surveillance or precision strikes. But the Zhishuan takes things to a whole new level by bringing a swarm of AI drones to the battlefield. Drones right now are being used everywhere on Earth. And now imagine a single aircraft that can fly thousands of miles, position itself at a safe distance, and then release dozens or even hundreds of those drones all at once. That's a game changer. The concept of drone swarms is particularly significant because they're incredibly difficult to defend against. A single missile or anti-aircraft gun might be able to take down one drone, but what about 50 or 100 coming at you simultaneously? It's like trying to swat a swarm of mosquitoes. You might get a few, but most are going to get through. I was also surprised to find out that China isn't just focusing on big drones like the Zhishuan. They're investing heavily in all kinds of unmanned systems from micro drones that can be launched from grenade launchers to bird-like AI devices that can disguise themselves as local fauna. It's a part of what Chinese military sources are calling a phased leap in unmanned combat technology. Now, what's particularly interesting about the Zhishuan is that it's not designed for military use. According to the manufacturers, it can be configured for tasks like maritime patrol, border security, resource monitoring, disaster relief, and emergency response. This kind of dual capability is a hallmark of China's military industrial complex, where technologies developed for defense can also serve civilian purposes. Now, just last month, I came across an article mentioning that the Pentagon has recognized China's drone modernization efforts as approaching US standards. That's pretty significant considering the US has traditionally been the leader in military drone technology. And in response, the US is ramping up its own drone capabilities with initiatives like the Pentagon's $1 billion replicator program, which aims to field the thousands of air, sea and land drones by August 2025. Now, let's talk about the AI aspect, which I find absolutely fascinating. It's not that the Jishuan can carry a lot of drones, it's that these drones are increasingly being powered by AI allowing them to operate as coordinated swarms. 
Now, earlier this year, I came across a report claiming that a team of Chinese researchers had successfully tested an AI-powered drone that defeated a human-operated UAV in an aerial battle. The AI drone apparently outmaneuvered a human counterpart by predicting attempts to force it to crash, and the test lasted just 90 seconds before the human operator was overwhelmed. That kind of AI capability is being integrated into China's drone swarms, allowing multiple units to work together as a coordinated system. They can communicate with each other, adapting to changing conditions, and potentially even make decisions without human input. The Zhishuan would serve as the command center for these swarms, providing a platform for launching, coordinating, and potentially retrieving the smaller drones. The integration of AI into these systems also means that they can perform increasingly complex missions. They could be programmed to conduct distributed surveillance across a wide area, overwhelm enemy defenses through saturation attacks, or even perform complex electronic warfare operations to jam or disrupt enemy communications and radar systems. Now, what's particularly concerning is the potential for these AI systems to operate with increasing autonomy. As AI capabilities advance, we might see drone systems that can identify and engage targets on their own, raising serious ethical and legal questions about autonomous weapon systems. Now, the international community is still grappling with how to regulate such technologies, but the development is moving faster than the regulatory frameworks. I also found out that China is making significant advances in counter drone technologies, including specialized radars like the YLC-48, UAV Terminator, and various laser-based defense systems. This suggests that they're not only developing offensive drone capabilities, but also preparing for a future where drone warfare is commonplace. So what does this all mean for the future of warfare? I think we're witnessing a profound transformation in how conflicts are fought, with unmanned systems playing an increasingly central role. The just one and similar platforms could extend a military's operational reach and reduce the risk of human personnel. Instead of sending manned aircraft or ground troops into dangerous areas, Military commanders could deploy drone motherships like the Jishuan to protect power and gather intelligence from safe distances. This is especially relevant in contested environments like the Taiwan Strait or the South China Sea, where China has strategic interests. A platform like the Jishuan could allow the Chinese military to establish a presence and conduct operations without directly risking human lives or without triggering a major escalation. I was reading that the Jishuan Maiden's flight is expected to take place by the end of June 2025, which is just around the corner. This will mark the beginning of a series of tests before it potentially enters the service with the People's Liberation Army. The speed at which this project has moved from concept to flight testing in just a couple of years suggests that China is placing a high priority on developing these capabilities. It's not just China though. Countries around the world are investing in similar technologies. The US has programs like DARPA's Gremlins, which explores the concept of launching and retrieving drones from larger aircraft. Russia is developing its own drone swarming capabilities, and even smaller nations are getting in on the action. Now, what I find most interesting is how these developments are blurring the lines between science fiction and reality. I grew up watching movies where massive motherships would deploy swarms of smaller aircraft, and now we're seeing real-world systems that operate on similar principles. The pace of technological change is honestly breathtaking. And there you have it. China's giant UAV AI drone, the Jishuan SUAV, is a fascinating piece of technology that represents a significant evolution in military drone capabilities. But whether you find it impressive or concerning honestly depends on your perspective. But there's no denying that it's a remarkable achievement in aerospace engineering and unmanned systems. I genuinely think we're actually at the beginning of a new era in warfare, where unmanned systems and AI will play an increasingly prominent role. The Jishuan is just one example of this broader trend, but it's particularly striking just how much it illustrates how rapidly the technology is advancing. Let me know what you